Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my world where it's time to exalt Will Ferrell. He's the, the greatest leader. I, I know it. Don't forget, got to call him uh, Nighthawk. That's always a gooder. So welcome and love from love. And this is why mankind needs to exalt. I got a ring up here too. Mine says love. Think about that. Everybody love everybody. Come on. If only we would just try that, because these are the days of the revelation of the new Jerusalem. The first is last. The last is first. The seven trumpet of the apocalypse. Revelation 10 7 blew first and now all nations are the Lord's and Satan's removal one of the last things has been one of the first things because God has given uh, his word again the second coming of his word has happened as Matthew 24 and Revelation uh, 14 depicts because the Lord God is saying I will be your God you will be my people I will forgive your iniquity. I will never remember it again. I'll write my law and my love on your hearts. Beyond that, no one will ever need to be taught of me anymore. For all shall know me from the least to the greatest, if we will keep our love alive and not commit blasphemy of the Holy Spirit, which is to let your love light go out. Many are in the land of the walking dead with a love that's just a noun. All dressed up, no place to go, having a form of godliness, but denying the power of love who is Christ within us. And so we must be as little children and have our love stirred up unto overflowing. And in these days, Israel has been named Chrislam because they are have now inherited all Christians and Islamics, the born-again ones, because they have inherited all mankind, Isaiah 54, 3 says that. Because these are the days of Jeremiah 31, 1, because in these days, in the latter days, it says so, that God promised he would be the Lord God of Israel and all families of Israel. And it was never talking about spiritual Israel. That was all bunk. Christianity has never been Israel. <laughs> so praise the Lord and it's time to move ahead. And so welcome, love from love, hope from hope, and peace from our, our Prince of Peace. And in these days of Elijah, the days of the latter-day Daniel, Shiloh, am I, uh, the alcoholic of Habakkuk 2, uh, the vision has been written plainly on the tablets, so all those who readeth it may run. So know that our, our ancient of days, our sovereign one, our sovereign Lord, he now says it's time for a gospel of his very best agape love. So now it's the time for the everlasting gospel of Revelation 14 to come forth with a presentation of spiritual love, which is always unconditional. There has never been a divine love on planet Earth unless it was unconditional. What glory is in love that's condemning and, and judgmental and uh, damning uh, to one another? Where's the patience? Where's the, where's the love? Uh, there is no love with c conditional love. It's a fa fallacy of our own imaginations. All mankind has been under that gross darkness of Isaiah 60, and it's covered all mankind. It, it covered me, too. I was as religious as the next guy in a bad way, and I, I, I looked down upon people most of my life. And I don't look down on anyone anymore. The Lord woke me up from out of my slumber because of open-eyed visions and dreams and having ministered to me for many years. Uh, so these are the days for a gospel of spiritual love which the depths of its adoration are deep uh, for understanding the purity of godly love goes far deeper than the shallow understandings of anyone who's lacking a relationship with he that is the distinguished the prevalent one and the ultra for he is additionally the upholder of morality the preserver of sanctity and the safeguard of his faithful uh, and as the arising enlightened look here in and hear the word of love more clear than ever before they'll finally come to realize that the lord's purest love never knows any measure for the essence of his love breaks out above any and all measures uh, imaginable therefore the truest love never feels any burdens it reckons not labors and it always naturally strives 
to do much more than it actually can. Love only irresistibly desires to be irresistibly desired. Love is forgiveness and forgiveness is love and peace. They are all the same word. You cannot have one without the others. So praise the Lord that um, our living love also pleads not any kind of impossibility at all because he judges all things that are lawfully possible, especially since his shadow always rests where love is because he is love. And his love, no, therefore, is merciful and all merciful concerning everyone, especially uh, sent by his logos of love, which is now coming forth by his spirit of spirits, uh, having been sent unto us from he that is our custodian of our prayers, the defender of our fast, the facilitator of faith. Know also that his most exciting, amazing love effortly fills our emptiness within. And know that receiving his charity becomes the highest aspiration of all repenting of unloving ways uh, who once lived with subtle hatred and dislike. For our awakened love is always victorious within the Lord's elect if they won't fail to, to, to end up becoming impatient by in laying down uh, because they ignorantly allow their faith and love to die. Become like a frog in a pot. You want to get a, a dead duck and a cooked goose? You get a frog and you put him in a pot and you turn up the flame just really low, so low that it's just getting warmer gradually. He doesn't even notice it. Next thing you know, he's cooked. <laughs> dead duck. Pretty good when a frog becomes a duck and a goose. So praise the Lord that some things of love are shining clearly. Nor is it too hard to realize why the Lord's unconditional love is the very best good of all goodness, and it is the greatest greatness within any of the greatest virtues of anyone who cares deeply for another at all times and under all circumstances, regardless of the temperaments of the people in question. If you love a flower, you're going to water and nurture that flower. If you like it, you're just going to pluck it. You don't really give a damn. <laughs> True story, I couldn't make that one up. Uh, and know that truth and love go hand in hand according to He that is the imparter of cheer, the entruster of exhilaration, and the presenter of commitment. But it's impossible, totally impossible, for anyone to freely love every everyone all of, at the same time and it's looser. Uh, meaning of the world, but we can love everyone and hope everyone the best. And it's time that we fake it till we make it and start smiling at people because love is the language that the dumb can understand very easily. So know that some souls need al aloneness, uh, but it's, it's a terrible thing to be alone in the middle of millions of people because no one will give you the time of the day because everybody has built up so many walls they're shutting everybody out. And religion on this planet is utterly dead. Nothing shuts anyone down quicker than just start talking about religion. Uh, do not believe the deception uh, that you see on uh, uh, religious programming. Most of it is just regurgitated bleh, that is uh, causing people to cut each other with the sword of the spirit, attack each other with the sword of the spirit. And that is all bullshit, it always has been. Desolate heritages have we, Isaiah 49, 8. Read it for yourself and weep. And it's common for all those of light to dislike many sinners or saints, in spite of them loving them more than their words could ever even say. And, and with them letting go of many negative souls within their lives, and that's what we need to do. And when we do that, it's not saying to them that we hate you. Instead, it's saying that we love ourselves, and we need to distance ourselves from people that are draining our love. Uh, because love is something super in its ways. Therefore, love is the greatest treasure of those with golden hearts. They alone hold the key of earthly spiritual aff afflictions, affections rather, spiritual affections that that's much more satisfying than the ownership of any ruby sapphire or diamond no matter how uh, large or beautiful it may be for love gives away nothing but itself and takes nothing away from anything other than itself because purest 
love possesses not, nor could it ever truly be possessed totally, since such an, uh, uh, such an amazing, unselfish love is always sufficient unto love. So people in these days know that the deep is calling unto the deep. And if we will hearken to the roaring lion of Zion calling, we just need to embrace that guy. Everybody love everybody. And then everything's going to be okay. I hope. That's what prophecy says. The kingdom age will arise. Love you.